What's going on guys? This is Chandler Smith and this week has been filled with very high highs and unfortunately some really low lows. Now if you follow the channel you know I just closed on a 15 plex. I'm also working on closing on some storage units right now so I'm really excited about that. However on top of that I just purchased the Stradman's Ferrari. Now, if you follow the channel, you'll also know that I purchased the C8 from the Stradman. And you need to know that experience was incredible. The Stradman was awesome. He took care of me. I have absolutely loved the car. However, with the Ferrari, the experience hasn't really been the same. I really felt that I've just been kind of misled. Um, we found a major issue with the car and the Stradman is not really willing to work with me. And obviously he's been great to put me on his channel and do a bunch of other stuff, but it is just really discouraging. And the only thing I could think to do is come and share it with you here on YouTube. So obviously it is a 2013 and you need to understand the backstory. When the Stradman purchased this car, I was in the process of looking for the supercar I wanted to buy. And this was at the top of my list. Like I was pretty sure that was the car I wanted to buy. And it just so happened to work out that he ended up purchasing that car. So when I saw his video, I immediately reached out and I said, hey, if you ever decide to sell this car, I want to buy it. So that kind of falls back on me because I did reach out to him originally. He came back and said, look, I've got plans for the car. Um, down the road, if things change, I'll let you know. But right now I'm not planning on selling it. And so I was like, all right, that's fine. I'll wait till spring. Fast forward a couple weeks, he ends up reaching out to me, and maybe it was even more than a couple weeks, but he reaches out and he says, Chandler, I've changed my plans. I want to sell the car. Is it something you're still interested in buying? So obviously I was pumped. Like the car is beautiful, especially on the exterior. And I said, hey, like I'm all in, let's do this thing. And he'd been very honest and fair with me before. So I really thought that I could trust him with purchasing this car. And so I went down, I took a look at it. Everything seemed to be in working order. And I said, all right, let's buy it. Now I didn't take it into the shop. I didn't do anything else. I just went and took it for a drive and said, I want to buy the car. So after going through that whole process, we scheduled the date and I was going to come down and finish the purchase. So I went down, he gave me another absolutely incredible day. Like it was so much fun driving the cars. He was just a gentleman and a scholar like usual and he handed off the car. Well, from that point forward, it has just been kind of a joke. Like I, I'm just gonna be honest, it's a real major bummer. And so the best thing I could think to do was just come and share it here on YouTube. I'm hoping the Stradman will change his mind. However, I don't know, I guess he did sell the car and it is what it is, but I just wanted to share with you the issues we're running into. And I don't know, let me know in the comments what you think. He'd even pointed out this stuff here, just there's a little wear. He had sent me pictures of the leather and just said, look, like obviously it's, it's a car, it's got 20,000 miles on it. Um, but overall the interior is good other than you know, stuff like this, when you get inside, it still looks pretty fresh. But one thing that Ferraris have issues with is they'll get these sticky buttons. And so I was planning on figuring that out. But again, these are all things that the Stradman had told me about. I mean, there's little wear and tear on things. All of that I knew about. Like he was so upfront. He sent me a video. He showed me everything about the car, explained how to use it, explained all these little things long before I ever purchased the car. Like he was over the top being just very fair and reasonable and explaining things to me. And if it was anyone else, that would have been a red flag, but like, he's just a good person. That's what I thought. I thought, hey, he's just taking care of me. He's going above and beyond. And so these were the things I was focused on. I researched and I made sure all of these things are very easy fixes. And it's just something that comes when you buy a car with 20,000 miles. However, what he didn't tell me about is the issue that I'm really frustrated with and really bummed. And it's something that I don't know if he's ever going to get to a point where he's willing to help me fix it. So at this point, I have built it up, but I'm just gonna show you and let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, so to show you this, I've gotta push this button and open up the trunk. And honestly, I, uh, I don't know. I don't even know how to respond. I think you guys will feel the same way that I do, but let me just show you this. It's infuriating. Like why, how, how could you sell me a car and then do this to me? I've been in here for two months, bro. <laughs> two months and you're upset? Well, I bought the car, this is a freaking joke. 
That was part of the deal. That was in the contract. Didn't you read the fine print? I told your audience you're awesome. They still blast me for videos like this though. It doesn't matter how nice I am, what I, I love say, them. they just love Keep it you. Up. Everybody knows I love the C8. Yes. And I said you gave me a broken C8, which, which is true. It is true. It was it's not clickbait beforehand. Yeah, we, yeah. I mean, you, was, yeah. you cleared it up. It, was, it was under, under warranty. warranty. Yeah. And your fans freaking ate me alive. Like I have had, work. however, your fans also, they watch the video a lot. <laughs> okay. Okay. So okay. I'm like, well, here's the deal. There's some stuff that I want to get done on the Ferrari. Yes. It's, it's an aged car. I know where this is going. Right? Yes. So it's got like an issue here or there that we're going to like clean up a little bit. Right. And I wouldn't even call it an issue, just age. Right, exactly. You know? Yeah, wear and tear. Going to talk about it in the video. Right. However, you have this passionate following and I kind of want to punk them because they're saying I like destroyed your name and I should get sued. And well, you did destroy my name because you just smoked me in the race when I was driving the Tesla. So my name's <laughs> garbage at this point. So yeah, we might as well just continue the downward trend. It's time to punk them just a little bit with some serious clickbait. Yes, okay. So we're gonna have you hop in the trunk. And, um, Couldn't we have come up with another idea where somehow you end up in the trunk? But, okay, I mean, okay. Well, so I, the nice thing about the Ferrari, the trunk is actually, like the Corvette, is not as impressive. Yeah, this is a big trunk. Yeah, oh geez, I can feel the whole car kind of oh. Hey, if the front suspension goes out, that's that's on you. Yeah, if it if it's broken though, I don't think I'm gonna go through with the purchase, so be careful. I think it'll close, will it close? Right, okay, we're gonna be, has anyone, does anyone know how to open it though? The but <laughs> I do. <laughs> this happened to me before. It's not the first time. I was in the 570 with Burlacker. He didn't know how to open it once. I was stuck in there for like 60 seconds. This is why I have like, okay. hey, I think like I heart disease. It's because stuff like this. This is Chandler's idea. All right, Stratman fans. You know I had to give you a hard time a little bit after the hard time you gave me for the C8 video. If you haven't seen that video and you don't know what I'm talking about, you can click the link above. However, I do want to make it right with you, and so I'm going to share some awesome B-roll of some of the fun stuff I've been able to do in the Ferrari the last week. However, all that I ask you to do is make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the little bell, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the future videos. And if you haven't purchased my real estate investing course, you can get it for only 99 bucks. Now again, it's usually 300, but right now it's only 99 bucks, but there are just a couple days left, and you can find the link for that down in the description. You just have to use the code STRADMAN. So with that being said, let's jump into some B-roll. thing I really need your help with. You know we've named Tesla, we've named Mona, we've named Kate. However, I don't know the name for the Ferrari 458 Spider yet. So if you guys have some ideas, please let me know in the comments because we got to get her a name. If you didn't pick up on this already, the Stradman is the man. Like literally, I cannot thank him enough for both of these cars. He's so kind. I really consider him a good friend now and he's an absolute stud. So never, ever, ever would I talk heat on the Stradman. And again, Stradman, thank you so much for the experience. Thank you for the cars and thanks for being willing to play along with this video. So if you haven't already, make sure you go subscribe to his channel. And Stradman fans, you are the best fans. And so if you did end up here from his channel, thanks for being here and I hope you enjoyed this video.